Okay guys, welcome to this video where I'm going to help you with one simple trick to make your minor chords really stand out in a song. This trick is going to give your songs a little bit more flair and dynamic. I'm going to spend a little bit of time, a little bit of time on theory and a lot of time on application through three songs. Billy Joel's state, uh, New York State of Mind, Maroon 5's She Will Be Loved, and then a worship song titled Build My Life. And I'm going to show you the application because that's the hardest part of this is understanding how to use it um, successfully, the trick. How to use the trick successfully so let me go through a little bit of new york state of mind by billy joel and i'll show you the trick and how it's going to sound then we'll jump into things so okay i already used the trick there so remember this is a trick for minor chords billy joel is going from the c to the e7 to the a minor and so what did i do on this here is i actually used the trick look at my right hand my right hand's going down to the g hmm i wonder why it's doing that so one more time watch when i do that and watch how this trick really adds a good dynamic and a good kind of like build up to the song okay so let's jump into a little bit of the theory we're gonna move in the key of C major. So you should understand that in the key of C major, you have seven chords you can play. I'm gonna name them off very quickly. Remember, we're focusing just on the minor chords. Here's C major, D minor, ah, keep track of that one. E minor, keep track of that. F major, G major, A minor, and then you have a B diminished here. So we're gonna focus on the minor chords. So if you were to play a D minor chord, let's say you see a D minor come up in one of your songs. What I want you to do is play the regular old D minor, how you do there, but then the right hand should shift down in root position to the next chord. So what does that mean? Well, watch my right hand. I know the next chord in the key of C is right here. So when you have a D minor show up in your music, you do this, and then you move to your next chord, whatever it may be, okay? So for the E minor, I'm gonna come back to that. Let's go to the A minor. Okay, this was like the Billy Joel song, New York State of Mind. When you have an A minor, what do you do in the right hand? You hit the A minor, and then to create dynamic, you move your right hand down to the next chord in the scale. What would that mean? G, okay? So you have to understand your basics. If you don't understand the basics of piano, then you're not gonna be able to get a lot out of this lesson. So check my free online basics course up here, completely free, 100% free. Enroll in that, and then come back and watch this. So. A minor, and then we would go to the G. So when you're playing the song, Billy Joel's State of, uh, New York State of Mind, the A minor comes up and you go. And then you move on to the next chord. So you see how I was on the A minor and then I went to the G? So that's the trick. Let's go to the E minor chord. This is the third chord in the key of C, okay? And let's do the same exact thing. So what do we do? We go here and then we move down to the next chord, which would be here, okay? This chord doesn't work well. Just listen to it, okay? So what does that mean? You can use this trick on the two chord, which would be the D minor in the key of C and the six chord. Don't use it on the three chord. So let's go through the application process and all the songs that I mentioned. We already touched on New York State of Mind. Let me start there again, just to kind of drive the point home. And then we'll do that worship song, Build My Life, and then Maroon 5's She Will Be Loved. So we have an A minor here. So then watch my right hand. Okay, what do we have here? A D minor. Okay, so what does that mean? D minor here. We know that this is a two chord in the key of C, so then we could bring it down here and then go to the next chord in the song. So the way that that sounds is.
Okay, so here, even on this part of the song, you have the A minor to the D7. So what do what should you be doing on the A minor? You should be going A minor to the D7. Now watch my A minor again. So you see how I'm hitting that G chord? I'm going A minor, G, and then to the D. So let's go to let's go to Maroon Five. So she will be loved. Okay, to an A minor. did I do? So notice what the chord progression is doing. So, and she will, and then be loved, and then it goes to the A minor. Okay, so A minor, and she will be loved, right? So A minor, what should you be doing? A minor, and then you know it's G is the next chord under. So you might do this, and she will, and then, and she will. basically use this trick to create emotion so it's a minor chord trick that i use all the time let's close out the video with build my life let me play through the chord progression and then hopefully you'll have a good handle on the application process behind this awesome trick okay so let me uh, calibrate myself here So it's an F chord. Okay, D minor. Okay, so we can use it there, right? That's a two chord. C over G. A minor. So how would I use this trick in that song? You have two instances where we could use kind of like a buildup, a dynamic buildup. So I'm gonna pretend that I was on stage at church and someone's singing the lyrics to the song. So holy, there is no one to like it. There is none beside it. Open up my eyes and wonder. Okay, so I would be on an F chord, so. Okay, uh, and then it goes to that. So you see on the D minor chord, I know that D minor, I could use a C. So. the build up there I did it so hard my <laughs> my earphones almost came out so this minor trick can be used to really create a lot of emotion whether you're playing Billy Joel's New York State of Mind or Little Maroon 5 she will be loved or this worship song build my life so let me know in the comments below how this helped out and I'm gonna link the video if I haven't linked it already up here um, on the simple trick with the major chords here was the minor chord trick that I use I hope it's crazy helpful and I hope it gets millions of millions of hits just like my other video up here with the major chords guys make sure to subscribe I upload lots of videos just like this to help you flow on the piano using chords no sheet music just chords patterns really cool stuff so that you can enjoy your music improvise and get after it okay I will see you guys in another video thanks for watching okay you made it to the end one in every four of my viewers clicks right there to learn how to play like me as always guys don't forget to subscribe for more awesome videos you can click on my beautiful face right there if you'd like and next video is right here.